Mary Jane is trending on X, and no, I'm not talking about Joe Rogan's favorite pastime. I'm talking about the redheaded bombshell herself, Mary Jane Watson. You know, famous for being Spider-Man's main squeeze, the main love interest of the boy in red and blue spandex. Why is she trending? For the exact opposite of those bombshell looks, because in the PS5 Spider-Man 2 game, her character model looks so... Up mid at best that people on X are having a tizzy and frankly I can't blame them y Your boys are on that list because you can't sit there and denigrate such a beautiful redhead like this But of course insomniac's done it and folks aren't happy. So welcome back to words of paradise I'm your host Leon Idol. Let's go through some of these posts as well as show you guys what the actual actress that does play The motion capture for Mary Jane looks like and we're gonna get real familiar with how they are making women just look Objectively awful in Western video games before we get into that though if you would please Drop me a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I'm a hair away from the 1,600 mark. It would really help a brother out. Not only that, you get to listen to my nerdy news coverage every day, because I'm here almost every day with nerdy news. I thank you in advance. Let's get into it. And here we have it. Official look at Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2, and... Look at that face. I mean, I, I would say that's a face that only a father could love, but if any of you guys know anything about Mary Jane's parental life, um, well, I can understand why her father did what she did. I'm just saying. We got, uh, Lorena Creole here. Mary Jane's supposed to be smoking hot, not an average-looking chick. I don't even know if this is average. Like, yeah, maybe an average body, but this, this is a flat-out ugly face and replies like this they, they just continue mary jane is supposed to be stunning what the f is this some of the replies of the post about mary jane spider-man 2 are cracking me up i hate this area uh, era of normalizing video game characters looking mid you can look at me instead that's worse all right all right, maybe it's not all been bad, so you, you, you gave us this. I'll give you that. Thanks, Insomniac. Uh, this edit is asked, but Mary Jane Watson was based off Anne Margaret, who was a very real woman. It's not sexist to point out the model for MJ looks off compared to her first model, especially if she looks much older than the age she's supposed to be. So this was an AI mock-up, and minus her hair not being red enough for my take, yeah, that is an incredible-looking uh, Mary Jane. Like That's a cute face. I would go for a bit more of a, a stern, determined look. But that's definitely a cute face is doing the same pose. I just want more red hair and give her more of a uh, Again, she, she's a firecracker. Mary Jane's known for being a firecracker So I'm not really getting a firecracker vibe, but it's objectively better looking This is the woman that she was based off of again and Margaret now. This is Mary Jane in the comics now This you know, these are old comics this is from the, the late 80s I believe was when Mary Jane was first introduced or maybe it was sorry late 70s early 80s when she was introduced Let's go ahead and take a look at some Mary Jane. Yeah. Oh th this this right here here. This is the perfect indication of Mary Jane. We're not getting any of that with uh, this right here, are we? Like, compare this to this, or how about this? I mean, this is a real good looking woman right here. What about this? This is one of the most famous looks that Mary Jane has ever had. This comic cover right here. You got her looking smoking hot here as well, or um, oh yeah, here, here's here's another really good one. And look, Mary Jane is not only known for her looks. Like, let, let's be real. Mary Jane's known for her brash, abrasive, tough girl personality, but at the end of the day, she loves Peter Parker, and she's a loving and supportive girlfriend, wife, best friend, depending on what's going on in the story at any moment. But the point is, the fact that she's good looking is a massive part of her character. The fact that she is leaps and bounds out of Peter Parker's league is a big deal for Mary Jane. It, it, there's a great juxtaposition amongst their characters. She's been a model. She's been an actress. She's been a reporter. She's owned a bar. There's a lot of things Mary Jane has done throughout the various Spider-Man canons that makes her a strong, capable character. But none of that means that she gotta be ugly. This is her from the PS2, or sorry, the PS5 Spider-Man 2 game. This was her character model in the previous game. Like, how many years have gone by between Spider-Man 1 and 2 that she's gone from this, which is a relatively cute-looking girl, you know? Like, I, I still don't think they quite nailed it, but I don't think they nailed the look of anyone in the first Spider-Man game, if I'm being completely honest. Th that! Like, like... How? And they're trying to claim, this is the great part, Insomniac is trying to claim they're using the same face model. Right here, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will feature the same Mary Jane face model, Insomniac Games insists. And this is another look we get at her. Look at that jaw, that is a dude jawline. Like, I, I kind of like the eyes, if it was on a prettier face, she's got a piercing gaze. But this is not a woman that you would consider a, you know, a bombshell. This is just a very 
mid-individual. I mean, there's nothing about her that screams successful actress. There's nothing that screams out of Peter Parker's league. There's nothing that screams drop-dead gorgeous. So when you look at the girl that's been the face model, like here's a photo here, but let's get a better one. Look, I'm not saying this is the prettiest woman in the world, but let me tell you, this is a pretty damn good-looking woman. How do you take this woman's face right here and turn it into that. Did you guys even see the, any, any correlation? Her jawline is definitely nowhere near as manly as what they're doing here. They took this beautiful woman, like look at that. How in the world are you going to uglify her like this? What? That, that's such a slap to her face. Now a lot of people are saying that this actually isn't her, that they did change the face model uh, for, for the Spider-Man 2 game, specifically because we're on her IMDB right now. She's not listed in the credits for Spider-Man 2, just Spider-Man. Again, despite the fact that Insomniac swears up and down that they didn't change her. That it's the same face model. So, I, I don't know. I don't think Insomniac's being all too honest. We've seen them lie about other things in the past. This could just be, you know, the, the icing on the cake. Let's go through some more of these tweets, because people are not having a good day. Um, a fish Oh, this is from Black Cat. Mary Jane Watson's meant to be a bombshell of a woman, like so hot that she's out of Peter's league. If I fought Venom and Craven and came home to this, I'd be meeting Uncle Ben very soon after. I, look, a lot of people are going to get upset. Oh, look at these sexist gamers. Guys, she's some pixels on a screen. What you should be upset about is they took this woman, um, right here, this, 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 you know, this pure feminine beauty. Everyone's always talking about we need female representation. You know, gaming's too male dominated. So you get female representation. You take this beautiful woman here and and you turn her into this, yeah, I I'm sorry, you people get, you're getting what you deserve, you've been craving for women to be uglified, to, to make, you know, normal mass media so much more accepting of ugly women, this is fantasy, this isn't real, it's fiction, you should want, especially if it's in her character, to be drop dead gorgeous, so I don't know where you're at with your all, oh, women's rights, you know, I thought the whole point of the, the 60s and the sexual liberation was so the women could be whatever they wanted to be, so why are you letting game developers take women and turn them into dudes, this is a, a trend we're seeing, it's not new for Mary Jane, like we're covering it specifically about Mary Jane because that's the new topic, that's what's trending, that's what's in the news, but we've seen this happen over and over and over with female characters out of Western gaming. It happened with Aloy in the Horizon sequel. I'm sure I could think of some other instances where it's happened. Oh, it, it happened with, um, it happened in The Last of Us 2. Also a PlayStation, in fact, and now that I'm thinking on it, it seems to be really happening with PlayStation when it comes to, what, what is it, Sony? Do you hate uh, attractive women? Like, we're so many of you guys, the top executives at Sony, the top brass, were you turned down by too many good-looking women because even though you make millions of dollars a year, you just couldn't get them to date with you and now you're taking it out on gamers everywhere? People aren't going to be using Mary Jane Watson in their spank, you know, or something in their spank bank, or if they are, they're going to be using far better versions of her that have already flooded the internet. It's not wrong for people to want a good-looking version of Mary Jane, one that's, I don't know, comic book accurate. I mean, I never thought I'd say it, but Zendaya looked better than this for Mary Jane. Oh, okay, maybe I'm going a little bit far, but you guys get what I'm saying. Anytime I see a comment referring to Mary Jane as Mary Plain or Mid Jane, it just screams misogyny. I'm sorry, it ain't misogyny. Um, I, I guarantee you got pronouns in your bio. Let's take a look. Holy shit, how about that? No pronouns in the bio. Okay, fair enough. I, I, I stand corrected. But, but can you blame me for assuming as such? Either way, that is mid. Compared to this, that is absolutely mid. She is supposed to be drop-dead gorgeous. And it's not misogynistic to point out that writers had a very clear intent. Artists had a very clear intent. And when you make a product nowadays and you desecrate their wants and then their creations with something like this, I, I know plenty of women that are also talking about how ass this design is. Cult Classic Cage is a chick, and she was talking about how ass this design is. Mary Jane not supposed to look like she's gonna roll up in a minivan when she wants to, you know, take Peter Parker out to McDonald's for some chicken nuggies. She's not supposed to look like his mom, but that's what we're getting out of this. I mean, she's a little bit more alive than Peter Parker's mom, but you wouldn't know it looking behind these eyes. Like, she is dead behind these eyes. Anyway, it's not misogynistic for a dude to say that this is a mid-looking woman, just like it's not misogynistic for Cult Classic Cage, another female to criticize her looks. This, on the other hand, this is Mary Jane. But I also guarantee that you would claim that this is a, a misogynistic version. Like, oh, look at how men drew her. Look at her bust. Look at her waist. She's so sexualized. She looks hot, which is part of Mary Jane's character. And then here, we've got a better look at most of the characters. And I am actually not going to dog on Mary Jane the whole time because... 
Dude, all these kind of look like ass, except Norman Osborn. Like, we got Mary Jane, Harry Osborn, Norman Osborn, Rio Morales, Gank Lee, and Haley Cooper. Now, this is an atrocious you know, face model right here. Like, this looks like someone from the Magic School Bus just gained sentience. This is an alright character model. I don't have too much to say about it. It, it looks too video gamey for me. I would want something that's on the PlayStation 5 to have a bit more realism to it. Like, like what is the point? I don't see much of a difference between the PS4 and PS5, so why'd y'all waste your money? Um, Real Morales, she looks generic and plain as shit. Once she just screams NPC again for someone that's a named character and the mother of Miles Morales, I would think that she'd have a little bit more to her, but whatever. She she's she's fine. Harry looks goddamn awful and the worst offender is Mary Jane. Like of all these individuals, it's weird they're doing the women the worst. Like again, Norman actually looks good. Harry doesn't, he looks plain, but Ma Mary Jane and Haley Cooper, my god, like, like, do you guys hate, uh, you, you talk about all the time, oh, we want to lift the oppressed minorities up, dude, then why the hell did you screw over the ginger white girl, and let's be real, gingers are like the ultimate minority, they're like less than 2% of the population, and then the black chick here, like, I don't want to hear any more of, we're fighting for the underclass, you know, minority, the people who've not gotten a break in this town, clearly you ain't fighting hard enough, cause what the shit, did you do to these two women right here? Official look at Mary Jane Spider-Man 2. The hatred of beauty continues apace. I mean, does it not? Can, there's a million things they could have done to make this character stand out and be beautiful and probably still have her as a strong, because I guarantee you she's still a strong female. There's no way they're writing her as a damsel in distress in the Spider-Man game. So what? If she's not going to be a damsel in distress, if she's going to be doing her own thing, still doing her reporting, why couldn't she have been a babe as well? Like, are you that afraid of the male gaze? I thought the Spider-Man was for everyone. Like, you're not not gonna get a, a male gaze or if you are who cares it's a video game you're not protecting anyone when you try and cut down on the sex appeal. Japan doesn't do it. Japan gives you pretty ladies in relatively scantily clad clothing all the way up to very, very conservative clothing, and they're all beautiful. It doesn't matter what they're wearing. They just know, Japan knows that beautiful women sell. Beautiful dudes too, let's be real. A lot of dudes in Japanese video games are either like pretty boys to the point where you think they're chicks, or they're hyper-masculine, which is also can be very sexualized when you look at like something like a shirtless Goku. So why, why is it that Japan still knows what people want? Japan, you know, oh, they're so conservative. Nah, they just know what people enjoy. German Strand says Mary Jane is beautiful in Spider-Man 2, and if this German individual thinks that this is beautiful, I would hate to see what the woman, women in Germany look like. Uh, I, all I'm getting from this is never visit Europe, because if this is the best you guys got, if this is beautiful to you Europeans, I'm A-OK -okay here in America, or again, visit some sort of Asian country. I, I know a couple Chinese girls, they're beautiful. Yeah, all in all, I don't have a whole lot to say on this, I just wanted to sort of showcase that people are pissed about what happened to MJ, and again, rightfully so. If you've been reading comics for any length of time, you know who Mary Jane is. Hell, even if you haven't been reading comics, if you grew up watching the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, you know the significance of Mary Jane Watson. You know the significance of Harry Osborn. Whether you guys think those movies are good, bad, doesn't matter. I mean, I think the Raimi trilogy is the greatest Spider-Man trilogy of all time. It was far better than the Homecoming series, uh, but you know the significance of Mary Jane, and for, for her to be treated like this by the developers, Developers, developers who probably have incredibly, you know, pro-female, pro-woman opinions. You know, you say something bad about a woman on X, and they're going to call you a misogynist, even though you know it might not be misogynistic in the slightest. For them to disrespect women like this, and also to disrespect the character and all the people that put their work and love into creating and crafting this character, and also to disrespect the woman playing her, because again, I showed you photos. The woman playing her, pretty fine-looking gal. I totally get why there's some hubbub on X about this, and I think you guys probably do too, but I'd like to know it for sure, so let me know your opinions in the comments down below, or let me know on X where you can find me at Bolt the Word, and please do subscribe, I am a nerdy news channel, I cover nerdy news every day, not always about video games, sometimes about Magic the Gathering, anime, movies, music, you name it, also feel free to check out my Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon, you know, to check out what I do on the day to day besides make videos when it comes to my carnival recipes, or, or the Magic the Gathering tournaments I play in, either way, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys other places on the internet and it's all here in the nerdosphere and this has been words of paradise